माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति चावला वेलकम टू माय सीरीज ऑफ पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस फंक्शंस इन पाइथन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट व्हाट आर फंक्शंस अ फंक्शन इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स व्हिच इज मेड टू परफॉर्म अ स्पेसिफिक टास्क टू एग्जीक्यूट फंक्शंस वी हैव टू कॉल इट इन आवर प्रोग्राम फंक्शंस आर बेसिकली रिक्वायर्ड whenever we want to write a large program we can write small functions as a specific part of a program to accomplish the task there are basically three types of functions built in functions modules and user defined functions first we will discuss built in functions built in functions are those functions which are predefined in python we have to just call them and use in our program there is no need to write any import statement in order to use the built in functions in our program there are various examples of built in functions for example int string float input print min max absolute all these are your inbuilt functions you might have noticed that whenever you have used these functions in your program you did not write the import statement next type python modules a module is nothing but a py file which contains the definitions of functions and variables in python there are some modules which are predefined and in that modules there are many functions which are related to that particular module so to use those inbuilt functions we have to import modules also in our program for example if i want to calculate the square root of any positive number then i have to use the square root function but before using the square root function in our program we have to import the math module also in our program there are two ways to import a module first one is using import statement and second is using from statement if we are using import statement that means we are importing full module in our program then all its built in functions and variables will be imported in our program next is using from statement this statement is used to import all or selected functions from the module see the example given below first statement is import math that means we are importing the module math since we have used this import statement so this means all the built in functions plus variables are imported in our program now next statement is a equals to 20 that means we have assigned a value 20 to a variable a next statement print math dot square root of a in this statement we are going to calculate the square root of a number a that is 20 and see the next example from math import squrt in the second example we have imported only the square root function from math module not all the functions and see the difference between the syntax to call the function when we are using import statement then we have to use the name of module also before calling the function but if we are importing it from using from statement then we just have to write the call statement these are all the example of inbuilt functions which are in math module that means if you want to use any of this built in functions you have to import the math module in our program okay i'm repeating again math module not math module m a t h math next a very important concept of this chapter is user defined functions now till now you have discussed or you have done all the inbuilt functions now the question arises can we define our own functions in python the answer is yes we can define our own functions in python 
the syntax to, for user defined function is first of all you have to write this def keyword then name of a function then list of parameters after this notice this colon here okay then doc string here you can write the documentation part of your function that means the purpose why you are making this function and after that the statements which are to be executed after putting the colon here all the statements will be indented in that function and def is a keyword here after the line containing def there should be a four spaces of indentation which is also known as the body or block of the function so now i am opening the python ideally to show you how the functions are practically work i am opening one file here of python yes so let's start first of all we have to define the function for this i am writing the keyword here def now the name of my function is let's suppose greet opening bracket closing bracket for now i am not going to write any arguments here after that this colon see after pressing this colon when you press the enter key now your cursor will be after the four spaces of indentation here you have to write the statement which you want to be executed by your function suppose i am writing it greetings everyone okay if you want to write any other statement also which you are which you want your function to be executed you can write it here okay to exit from the function just press the backspace key and to call the function you have to just write the name of a function and then this brackets okay now see here on the first line this is your function definition part okay or you can say this is your function header and this is your function call statement i am repeating again this is your function definition part and this is your function call part okay so now i am executing this let's suppose i am saving the file with function demo so now you can see the output here greetings everyone so now i will show you the control of execution first of all the control will move to this first statement when it shows that when it sees na ki that this that this is definition part it will skip that part the control will move to now here this is function call statement so jab bhi usko pata lagega ki this is a function call statement it will call that function in your program so it will ex execute the statement greetings from everyone okay now suppose i am doing little modification in this i am writing it here print hello welcome to python programming so can you tell me what will be the output of this now okay so this will be the flow of execution like the state control will be first move to the statement this will be skipped then control will move to the next statement so before calling this function this statement will be printed okay after that greet function will be called then this method will be printed so let's execute this now see here first the print statement will be printed and then the the statement which is inside the function now i am again doing modification in that i am writing the statement here what will be the output now first of all this statement will get printed then a function will be called so this statement will get printed after executing this statement control will back transfer here so it will print the statement goodbye okay so let's execute this yes i want to save this file and see the execution hello welcome to python programming greetings everyone and then goodbye clear okay now the question arises in our program how many functions you can define 
there is no limit in the function definition. I have defined one function here. You can define second function also. Suppose I am writing define display. Okay, this is the name of my second function. You can write the statement here. Suppose I want to print this starts. Okay. So the function means the statements which are exe which will be executed does not depend on the sequence of function definition. It will depend on the function call statement. If you will call the display function first, it will call the display function. Okay, if you will call the display function at end, then at end also it will call the function. Now let's execute this. Now see here, first of all I have called the function display. So display function will be called and in display function these stars will get printed. Okay. After this print statement is there. So this message will get printed. After this greet function is there. So greet function will be called and message greetings everyone will get printed. After this say goodbye. So goodbye will get printed and then again at the end display these stars will get printed. See here. Chicken. So that means in our program, we can define as many functions as we want. Now, the question arises, can one function call another function? The answer is yes. A function can call any other function also. I am writing the display function here. Okay. Or instead of display function, you can call the grid function also. Okay. Now see the output. What will be the sequence? First display function will be called. So this will get printed. Then hello welcome to python programming. Then this message will get printed. Then greet function is called. Oh sorry. Listen this again. Display function. So this will get printed. After this greet function is called. So after printing stars. This function is called. So it will print the message greetings everyone. See here, after this, hello, welcome to python programming, so this will get printed. After this, greet function we have called, so greetings everyone will get printed. See here, after this, goodbye, so goodbye will get printed. And at the end, we have called again the display function, so control will move to here, then display function, these stars will get printed. And again this greet function will call. So it will display the message greetings everyone. I hope your basic concept of function definition and calling is clear now. The remaining concepts of scope of variable and types of argument we will discuss in our next video. Thank you.